Have you ever taken a picture and you go to edit and you realize something is missing or you want to add something? Well, in this Minute Express on Adobe Express, I'm going to show you how to quickly use generative fill. I'm going to select an image that I want to work with. And I actually want to work with an image that I have from Adobe Max. And I'm going to show you how I change my hair color. So once you upload your image, you're going to see this over here and you're going to see the panel on the left that says generative fill. What you want to do is make sure you get really specific in the area that you want to select, because if I was to select my entire face to change my hair color, for instance, it's also going to change my face. So I'm going to go and make the selection. Okay, that's good to go. Then I'm going to give it a prompt and I want pink hair. So I'm going to click on generate and here's some options that are showing up and you can always give it more prompts to refine it. You're not always going to get the same prompt if you try this over and over, but it's really fun to explore. And I want to fix one more thing really quickly. So I'm going to select the image and go back to generative fill and I'm going to decrease the brush size, select my name tag here and then click remove. And there you go, here are some options that are generated. This is how you can make magic using generative fill in Adobe Express. And that was One Minute Express with Adobe Express.